Okay, here we go, guys. Summer Moon, Utah Wells. Summer Moon, Utah Wells. What a beautiful child. What a beautiful child with a spectacular body, an amazing way of moving and dancing. They, she blew them away with how beautiful she actually was. They couldn't believe it. So, such a pretty girl, their special prize. Such a pretty girl, their special prize. Now, I was listening to myself actually just now. I was listening to myself talk and I inspired myself. I actually gave myself an inspiration by listening to myself and you can do the same thing. You can, it's funny, isn't it? How you can listen to yourself or <clears throat> let me put it this way, trigger your own codes. You can activate yourself. Isn't that amazing? You don't need a guru. Oh my God, I just figured this out. Holy shit, this is big news. You don't need a guru. You don't even need Betty Keys. <laughs> no, I think he thinks he's some kind of big fat fucking guru. Benny Keys, are you some kind of big fat fucking guru or what? Who is this guy? Now, it's his whole presence in this thing speaks to the fact that the fucking thing was pre-fucking planned. Where did this guy come from? You know? Oh, my fucking God. Well, let me tell you what I think. Now that it's all coming out, thank you, Mr. Ernie Shell. Mr. Ernie Shell of Rescue Our Children. The actual real fucking deal. He's not there to hide the truth. He's there to uncover the truth. And he inspired the mother of Summer Moon, Utah Wells, to come forward and speak and tell the truth, maybe. And maybe she knows some of the truth. Maybe she knows all of the truth. I think she knows all of the truth. I think she's very good at denial, which is a skill. I think she's so good at denial that it's such an easy part of her that she knows how to do it so well, it's not hard, okay? Keeping secrets is something you're trained to do with years of work. When you start as a child to, um, when you train your child to keep secrets, your child will keep secrets. Now there's a, Jimmy knows a lot more than he's saying. It's all slowly coming out. You know, I've got a weird little skill where some big tragedy happens and within seconds, I have the whole thing fucking figured out. But it'll take months and months and months for everybody else to catch up. While if I state what I know to be true, and I'm always right about these things, I'm not bragging. It's just a talent. Can't we have talents and skills? Instead of being mean to me about it, why don't you just ask me what I think and I'll share it with you. And then you'll have a little more information the next time you make a plan. Instead of bashing me, oh, who do you think you are? You must be the devil. <laughs> Instead of that, you could say, oh, God, you have a talent for the future. Could you help me? Uh, that, that would be easier and nicer and more supportive. But it's up to you, you know. Anyway, it doesn't matter if I'm right or if I'm wrong. It's my own personal thing. It's just that I always am. So when it finally comes out, I'm always like, told you or knew it with the Twin Towers. They came down and I knew instantly it was an in inside jolt. And I didn't even know all about the, um, well, I've always known about aliens because I'm just, I know shit because I'm an old, old soul. I'm one of the ancient ones. I'm one of the archaics. I'm one of the really, really old ones. Maybe I'm a planner. Maybe I'm, you know, something, something like that. Um, uh, there's a scientist living inside me, you know, recording things, noting things, sending information back. See, when I'm here on this planet, I am often, I'm aware of the fact that, or in my crazy mind, that's all mine to be as crazy as I want. I mean, as crazy as I goddamn want. I got the approval from Jimmy to be as crazy as I want. I knew you secretly did love me, Jimmy. Of course you do. We love each other. We're twin souls from ancient time, whatever. Same bloodline. And I'm going to make you inspired, hopefully, which I already have done somewhat, to be the best goddamn divine masculine man you can freaking be. Why not? What the hell? You make Lolo shirts, you might as well go for the gold. Go for the gold, Rose. Gold, baby. You know it. We all got to rise to Ernie Shell. Let's all rise to Ernie Shell. Thank you, Ernie Shell. Thank you, motherfucker. In the best possible way, do I say that? Not the bad way, the good way, okay? Thank you, motherfucker. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What a fucking relief. In swoops Ernie Shell, the badass of all fucking time. Yes. Oh, my God. Thank you. I prayed. I fucking prayed. And now I'm starting to believe in myself. <laughs> <laughs> and the good people on the team, baby. So he comes in, Ernie Shell blasts into town. Oh, but see, 
He's not a manipulator, guys. He's not in there for the scam. and the, the, That's not him. Dudes, no. He's not here for the hustle, baby. Some people aren't here for the hustle. I know it seems shocking. It's a calendar. I'm not here for the hustle. I'm for the real deal, babe. Let's get on the track of, yes, we are on the right track. Let's save the planet because look how pretty she is. Tell me you don't want to go hiking or flying over those pretty woods, huh? Like an eagle, like an eagle soars. Tell me that doesn't look deliciously inviting. Look at that beautiful planet. My goodness. My goodness. You see why we, you can see why we're here, right? How pretty, oh, beautiful, gorgeous earth. You know, on a side note, if you love earth, if you take time to love earth, she will love you back. And when Earth loves you, it's awesome. It is awesome. It is a beautiful, wonderful, incredible feeling when Earth loves you back. Let me tell you something. It's something to consider. Maybe it ain't about some god in the sky, although those guys are great too. We love them, love them. Oh, they're so great. They're fabulous. The way they watch us all, suffering, yeah, after yeah. M amazing people, amazing. But Earth herself, maybe we're here to garden this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Let's garden this bitch. Let's look at her and say, bitch, you is unbelievably gorgeous. You are worth my time. I'm going to put my time into you. Okay? Because you're awesome. And I know that if I put my time into you, you're going to turn out great. You know what I thought of? Here's what I thought of. I was listening to myself talk. And I, heard, I was reading some comments you guys made. Thanks for the comments. Like, subscribe, and subscribe. I love comments if they're nice, meaningful, personal, truthful, and, and, and uh, inspiring, or whatever you want to share. That's nice. It isn't attacking me. Whatever you want to share. Now, Ernie Shell reached down in and got to the heart of Candace. Well, how did he do it? Because he's a heart-based, intelligent man. And he knows about heart on an intuitive and very real level. He talks about it all the time. The heart, the heart, the heart. Yes. It is she, it is this, the heart of the multiverse, beautiful, beautiful, right? Yes, we need more heart-based, intelligent people. So what I got inspired by was when I realized, I we're talking about, Dolores Cannon was talking about how the planet and the, and the program, the, the experiment, the grand experiment got infected, okay? Now, what do we do about the infection? We got to heal it. Maybe... Somebody had this awesome idea that if we could heal this and this bacteria, we could heal the whole multiverse and become very powerful. But I think we're on our way. So Earth heals. We are in healing bodies. I think that our, my generation did a lot of transmuting of bad uh, dharma and bad karma. And I think that my generation... Uh, my dad's generation, my mom's, they were a little more pure. They didn't have so many poisons and toxins, but the whole world is poison. So we all had poisons and toxins, but my generation, we had, you know, a lot of the vac the vaccines, childhood vaccines, and then all the heavy metal in our teeth. And then the nonstop fluoride and the unbelievable crap. My mother did not buy garbage. This was another thing my mother had on top of everybody without even trying. She just was a naturalist. She knew instinctively, do not give your children this fucking garbage. And she didn't. She never bought any shit. <laughs> never. We never had any of that crap. I loved all that crap. Are you kidding? I was like going to my friend's house trying to get all the good stuff. Twinkies and not Twinkies, but like yodels and things like that. That my mother would never in a billion fucking years buy. She would never have anything fake in her kitchen. Good for you, mom. You were right. My mom was really fucking awesome. You would have loved her. Everybody loved my mom. Everybody. Benny Keys would have loved my mom, and maybe my mom would have inspired him to be good. I have a feeling. My mom was so... There was something... I don't know how to say. I don't know if it's because she's a high-ranking spirit like me. I'm a high-ranking empress. So you might be a high-ranking demon, like, like Thoth, right? Thoth, high-ranking demon. Um, they're all a bunch of high ranking demons. Okay. But he's one of the top, but you can be a high ranking empress. That's, uh, that's, that's higher than the, oh, the high ranking demon. Okay. That would be me. I'm not afraid of high ranking fucking demons. Maybe I should be. Not that I can't be affected by them, but I'm older than them. So I'm like, ah, shit. You know, it's not like my kid can't kill me, but I mean, you know, it's like, so it's just an interesting concept. I just realized that I feel like my generation, I'm almost 60, I was born in 1962. We 
took on a lot. We, we, we did a lot of work. I feel like I did a huge amount of work for my genetic line. That's what I feel like. Okay. It's a weird thing to say, but I do feel like I, I did that. I feel like I, and my kids, you know, they're aware of this too. And they've seen it. They've seen it. And we talk about everything. So they're very astute. My children are extremely smart and, and with it. And I did everything I could to keep them as chem free as I could. It was impossible to do it totally. I mean, the whole world's infected, but you know, in general, my kids were not, I didn't leave, they were not raised on candy like Summer Wells and the, and the house of candies. The mothers are candies, the food is all candies, everything's candy. There isn't anything in the house that isn't candy. Candy, 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 you know? Eat your candy. Come and get it, dinner's ready. Which color candy do you want? We're having red, yellow, and green Skittles. And for dessert, we're having magenta Skittles, you know? So anyway, my children, I feel like my children they still have their work to do and they're transmuting to do. And we all have a lot of work to do. But I think there's something about the genetic line, uh, the mean gene. Now, I have, I have transmuted a lot of that mean gene. I'm not as mean as my siblings. They try to tell me that I am, but it's really just me fighting for, 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 for equality. And they don't like equality. They'd rather have the men in charge and the women just worshiping them. You know, and I, I, I'm genetically designed. I can't do it. That's why I make a terrible wife. <laughs> I'm not going to be an obedient slave like you think. You think, You think? oh, I'm going to marry her and she's going to be doing what I want. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. And then, then you get, and then it turns out it's like, uh, hell to the na, na, na. I am not. <sighs> I am not. So, you know, I was thinking about that conversation. Now I'm getting all these notes about everybody telling me about this woman who came on who told me to fucking shut up because... <laughs> I was there first. I was like, when am I going to get to tell my dad Dawn story? But anyway, I was thinking about how maybe she came on to stop me from talking about the Wells. You know, she heard me starting to go into this Dawn story, immediately gets on there and changes the subject, you know? So I was like, maybe that's by design. Maybe she wanted on some level to change the subject, you know, because she does not want anyone talking about the Wells family. Why? Why? See, when someone doesn't want anyone talking about the Wells family, that says cover up. The cover-up cops, you know what I mean? Anyway, I'm going to ramble more. There's a lot of, two, 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 there's a lot of cover-up things, a lot of bad shit going on. I, I I could go on for hours and I would say everything I needed to say, but I got to keep these videos short because it's too fucking annoying. Pain in the ass. So I will be back and uh, I'm going to watch some of Bullhorn Betty's live. Love you.